All right, so we're going to edit these background photos for April Love. Let me get the new layer here, new image. That's going to be our background. And let me get the group. This will be our group. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the girl. So I'm going to select subject here. And I'm going to refine it a little bit. Because we don't want her little Santa ears in there either. So I'm just going to hold down shift, which adds to the selection. And I'm going to draw her around her little Santa ears. And it's fine that it gets the chair. That's not a problem. Uh, I need to get a little bit of a shoulder. This is probably not going to be a big deal because it's going to be covered up anyways. But, you know. All right. So we're going to do generative fill. And we're not going to select anything here. It will automatically fill with what's around. And it will give us three um, whatchamajigs. Oh, that's beautiful, but no. And maybe. What the heck is that? <laughs> We're going to go with this one because really all we care about is the top. That's going to be covered anyways. That's funny how AI is wonky like that sometimes. But okay, I'm going to flatten this. Uh, let me just drag this over here so you can see all the stuff here. So AI gives you three different variations. I could run it again, but I'm not going to. This will be fun. We're just going to control E and flatten this to that. That's fine. All right. Now let's get our Santa group here. Select subject. This is going to have to be refined. A lot we're gonna have to zoom in and make sure we get everything here so all right I'm at 300% zoomed in and, and you can see how it just misses some of the sweater some of her clothes here I'm gonna use the quick selection tool I'm gonna bring it down and it's okay if it selects more because we can mask off but if it doesn't select enough we can't bring back what's not there so This has got to be refined just a little bit. And sometimes it does that. When it does that stuff, I just use the lasso select tool, hold down shift to add to the selection. Like I said, it's fine if it selects more, but we can't bring back what it doesn't select. So like this little bit of her hair right here, we want that. A little bit of her hair. I'm just going to keep using the lasso tool just for the sake of speed here. It's just easier. I'm using a Wacom pen as well. I'm not using a mouse. So that makes it help be a little bit more precise. All right. A little bit of hair. Here, I'm going to hold down Alt so it removes the selection. I don't want that. And I don't care that it's getting more. I'll mask, I'll mask that out. This, we can get rid of that. That's fine. I'll mask that out. Just make sure it's got all of her hair. Got all of her hair. We want to make sure we get her earrings. I want to make sure we get her green hat. And I missed a little spot there. Got it all here. That looks good. That looks good. We want all of this. We want Santa's chair. Uh, 
All right, this is fine. I'm wondering, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to select these, these present boxes too, just in case I can mask them out if I don't need them. But just so that maybe it will help the image look better. Okay, so that's fine. We got the mask. I'm going to hit Control J. It makes them on their own layer. So now if we hide this layer, see now they're on white and it looks choppy and that's fine. We're going to refine that. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So this layer here, we're going to drag over to this image. Boom. We're going to make them bigger so that they fill, fill the frame. I'm glad I got the presence because that just helps. I don't have to mask as much. I'm going to fill them there. That's good. All right, let me zoom in here. Check that. Let me minimize this. I don't need this one anymore. All right. All right, that looks good. So now we're just going to mask around the areas here that look rough like this. So for this, I'm going to add a masking layer here, or a mask to this layer, I should say. When you're masking, you want your colors on your brush. You want to select the brush and you want the colors to be black and white. If there's some other color, you just hit the letter D and it makes them default to black and white. So black is to paint off. When, when the mask here is white, that means it is visible. If I do an inverse and make it black, it makes it invisible. So we are going to have it white and we're going to paint black to switch from white and black. You can hit X on your keyboard. All right, for this, I want a medium hard brush. I don't want a totally hard brush and I don't want a totally soft brush. Medium hardness. Hold my opacity to be up there. I'm going to go at 100% because um, let me show you a trick I do. All right. 100%. I'm just going to, I'm holding down the shift key. And as I tap, it follows in a straight line from my last tap. All right. That looks good. Come over here, get rid of this little bit of a highlight on her hair. Looks good. Let's get her her hair. That looks good. Let's get that little piece. That looks good. It's a little bit of black here. We'll get rid of that. Right now I'm just brushing. I'm not holding down the shift key for these. All right. Now the trick here, since it's dark there, is to lower the opacity. I'm going to go down to Go down to 15%, use a soft, soft brush here. And then I'm just going to paint and it'll get rid of the black and it will show the background through, make it look more realistic. It's not going to be completely perfect, but no one's going to notice this. Except for us photographers, we will know, but the people in the photo will never know. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that whole little piece there. They will definitely never know. There we go. All right. Now, bring my opacity back up to 100. Check around her sweater. That looks good. It's nice and sharp. Her hair looks wonky. Let's fix it. Uh, my brush is too soft. That's why you don't want to use a soft brush because it makes a soft edge 
And usually when people's hair, you want it to be pretty, pretty sharp. It's pretty clean edge. Unless it's a uh, little see, see through flyaway hairs, then you want it kind of a soft edge. I'm going to refine this edge just a little bit here. And that looks good because it's going into a dark background here. You can't really tell. Just going to get rid of this little black area here. Hold down shift and it makes a straight line. Bada boom, bada bing. Bada bing, bada boom. Whichever way you prefer. All right, we got all that. That's good. Got a little bit of a white halo here. I am going to softly go along that and refine it just a little bit. Just a hair, no pun. Boom, boom, tsh. All right. I'm going to come back with a softer brush to get rid of this little bit of white line in here in a minute. Um, looks good. This line looks choppy. That looks good. part of her hat or was that part of the I think that was part of the background so we'll go ahead and leave that off that looks good this looks kind of choppy that's fine let's get rid of this you can see like a little bit of a edge there All right, and that looks good. A little bit of a haloing right here. I'm going to get that off. Hmm. Decisions. My decision. Do I save that box? Do I just go across? Let's go across so that it looks even right here. There we go. All right. <coughs> that looks good. All right. Let's see. hundred percent. All right, let's fix our little hairs over here that got the little white halo. For this, I'm going to go a little bit softer brush. And I'm, whoop, what will happen here? I'm on white. That's what. Wrong color. I need to be on black. Okay. So for the softer brush, I'm not going to touch her hair too hard. I'm just going to be on the edge. And just get rid of that little bit of white that's causing like a halo. The soft edge is really good for doing that. That way it doesn't look like they're totally cut and pasted. If there was a light above um, for like a rim light, it would be fine, but there's not. So we don't want halos here. That looks good. That's gone. Do a little bit right here. I know it's softening the edge a little bit, but that's okay. Because we are at 400% right now. When you're at 100%, no one is going to see. If it was like attorneys for like a billboard, I would take a lot of time and make sure it's really perfect. It's a quick little Santa photo, so no one is really going to 
get too excited if there's a little bit of uh, imperfection in it. She's got the opposite. She's got a dark halo. So on these light background areas, just brushing the darkness off. Do you want to fix her sweater a little bit here? There we go. For her, I'm going to do, because her hair is kind of thin there. So I'm going to use the soft edge to make it semi-transparent to portray thinning, thinner hair here at the edge. Like I said, we're at 400% right now. When we're at 100%, no one's going to tell. See, that's 100%. No one's going to know. This face just freaked me out. I was like, what in the world did I miss masking? Okay. But that's that. So here we go. There's the background. There's them. Lighting looks good. Background looks good. Let's save it. And then I'll send it to you. Hope you learned something from this. And uh, if you get a chance, follow me on Instagram. I am Jack's Photo is my username. And I'll follow you back. All right. Thank you.